Let's have a look how we can show that something has changed over time. And for this, we use the following options. So first of all, clustered column chart is your first choice, the most often used one in consulting. Quite often you'll be also using line charts. Another alternative that you can consider is the stacked area chart, scatter chart or bubble chart, heat map, and finally 100% stacked column chart. Now I'm going to show you examples of how those charts look like, and we're going to use them to present the very same set of data. In the whole course, I'm going to use the names of the charts used in PowerPoint and Excel. So the first, as we said, is the clustered columns chart. As you can see here, we look at the revenues of our chain of clinics, buyers and business units. As you can see in the axis, we've got years and every color stands for different business units. So blue is, for example, dentists. This way of presenting helps us show the behavior of each and every business unit separately, but also I can compare the behavior of business units within specific year. So for example, I can look at year four and compare the behavior of GP doctors to dentists and others. And we can see that the GP doctors are behaving much better than those two other business units. Obviously, in this sort of chart, we don't have the total and we cannot easily compare the overall revenues of the business. And if you wanted to see the behavior of the overall business, but also look at the structure at the same time, you can use the stacked column chart with absolute values. And here we see the relative size of revenues for each and every year. However, we also see the main driver for specific year. So for example, in year one, we can see that GP doctors are extremely important. They constitute the majority of the revenues. Whereas if we go to year five, their importance seems to be smaller. If you were to present the change of the structure of the business, you could use a different type of a column chart, the so-called 100% stacked column chart. And here we've got the option with the absolute values. We also have another option with percentages. The sort of charts we're going to be using if you want to concentrate on the behavior in time of the structure. In other words, what is the importance of each and every component? And here you can see very clearly that, for example, the GP doctor importance is going down. You can either observe it in absolute values or in percentage. So the share of GP doctors goes down from 69% to 42. Another option to use in this sort of data is the line chart. This is a little bit easier to see the trends for each and every business unit as we have lines, so we can see how do they behave in time. As you can see, those options are very simple. If you're looking for a more complicated chart, you could go for a bubble chart. Personally, I would not recommend the choice of this type of chart if you want to show a bigger number of components. As you can see here, we have the problems that the dentist and others in certain cases have the same revenues and therefore they have a circle that is overlaying each other. A modified version of that is the scatter chart. This can be a bit easier to see. In basic options, we've got the same color of the data points with labels. I can also manually change the colors and have them differ. And the third option is simply to remove the names and just have the values for each and every point. Now, another type of chart that you can use, it's heat map. And heat maps are very easy to create in Excel. And we're going to show you later on how to do that. In PowerPoint, you cannot really do that directly. So you just have to define the brackets and use shapes to create this sort of a presentation of data. Now let's have a look at the things that I would recommend using. So if you want to show something, how it behaves in time, I would recommend either to use stacked column in absolute values or clustered column. Usually those slides are very easy to read and explain to the customer.